Hey guys, welcome. It's Jerry with 3D HP. I just picked up a nice honeycomb bed off of Amazon for my diode lasers. And I looked at quite a few they had on there. And this one by Auteur. And this is not sponsored by them. They did not send this to me, nor have they ever sent me any of their products to test or review. So I bought this off the website. It was around $100, bucks, $99. And uh, it's aluminum, it's not steel. So magnets won't stick to it. But you can print out out of basswood some small little hold downs to hold down your material. But it's got one, two, three, four, five uh, ribs in it, uh, steel braces appears. It's all aluminum construction. The corners appear to be plastic. Very well uh, constructed. It's 17.7 by 17 inches. It's, point, it's 0 0.8 thick, about an inch thick. And that translates into 450 millimeters by 430 millimeters. And when I got it in the package from Amazon, I figured Amazon would have put it in a larger box like they always do. Now, it did have bubble paper around it. There was no damage. But if you look at the box here, the corners are all destroyed on it. I mean, the box is in pretty sad shape, so I'm surprised that the honeycomb itself wasn't tore up. Now, Amazon, you're slipping. You're supposed to be boxing these into large, larger packages like you always do. Why this wasn't, I don't know. But this appears to be the stock of tour packaging. But anyway, enough with that. But it wasn't damaged. It came out. It looks great. And we're going to go put it on the diode laser. We're going to try it out. Now, when you don't use a grid with a diode laser, you'll get a lot of burning on the bottom side from the laser. It burns through. It gets like a, a glue-like effect, like a sap effect, and will burn the bottom quite a bit. By having a honeycomb, it will have a, an air gap underneath and will alleviate it. Right now, I have uh, I made uh, two uh, spike beds. Where I bought spikes off Amazon, I drilled them every few inches and I put spikes in. And then you lay down your material, weight it down, it cuts it out fine. What's bad with the spike bed, if you cut out a small item, it will kick up and then the laser will hit it. And that's no, that's no bueno, that's no good. So I figured that I would pick one of these up. And my friend Rich, the LA Hobby guy, he had an affiliate link. So I used his link, that way he'll get a little money out of it when I went and did this. And if you guys end up liking this, down below in the description of this video, I also have an affiliate link. And for qualifying purchases, I get a little tiny, you know, money out of it. So, anyway, let's go another room, hook this up, and we'll give it a shot. See how it works out. And here we go. We've got along the new Focus Diode Laser. It fits right down in there real easy. Now, I do not have a metal plate underneath it, so when I burn, it is going to burn on my grid a little bit. Now, some of these that you purchase come with a metal plate that goes underneath them. So, when you do your burning, it goes down and it hits that rather than whatever you have underneath it. I do have material out in the garage. I could make something like that, but for now, I don't think I'm going to need it. But that fits fine. Then over here on my Comgro, Comgo Z1, I'll be doing a test on this one also. Here's an example of my spike bed. I have two of these. This is a small one. And what I was talking about is when you have your material laying on top of that and you go to cut it out, and it can kick up on you, then a laser hits it, it moves your material, kind of screws things up. So for quite a bit of things, the spike bed won't work out properly. But it will work out much better on the, the honeycomb bed. So let me go fire up light burn, and we'll do some tests and uh, print out a few things. And then I'll move over here to the Comgo Z1, and we'll do the same on it. Okay, here's light burn. I've dropped my pin files in that I uh, downloaded from the LA Hobby Guy. I'll have a link uh, below where you can find him at and find out all about his information. And uh, you scroll in real big here. And it says YouTube.com, uh, uh, Louisiana Hobby Guy. And uh, they're on two different layers. You go over here to my cuts and layers. And these are default, what came with it. I'm going to go ahead and test them and see how well they burn um, on my uh, focus laser. I'm not going to change anything. But one thing I am going to change is he has the first one to cut and then the second layer to engrave. I think that's a boo-boo. So I'm going to engrave first, cut second. So I'm going to take that, move that up. So he's been banging out so many videos constantly. He's been really super busy that he probably just made an error here. But I believe that the text should be first. And then the cut should be second. So, and we're going to go ahead and go with, uh, you get that to the center. Yeah, wherever, put your, wherever you put your mouse, when you zoom in and out, that's where it's going to center. So if I put my mouse over here to the left, see it's going wherever to the left. So I put my mouse right on the work, and then I zoom in, it's going to come right back on my work. 
and I've already went over and I've done a test fire with my laser. Um, I, I have a, I use a wireless mouse, so whenever I want to frame anything or do anything, I simply put my mouse on it. I lift it up off the mouse pad very carefully. I walk in another room, and then I click the button in midair, and then it will do the test fire so I can get it to its smallest point. Because on the focus laser, you need to adjust it. And since I added that grid, it brought it up quite a bit higher. So I just done a test. I didn't change it. It appears to be a really tiny little point. And always wear your protective safety glasses, uh, your laser glasses, when you do that. And make sure it looks good. And it seems to be fine. So we'll zoom that back out. And uh, I'll come over here. I click that little destination button. Go right to the center of my work. Now you're going to see here, I'm going to bring the mouse down here to the frame. Now I'm going to walk in another room, and once I get in there, I'm going to go ahead and frame it. And make sure that that is good. And I'm not going to put the cover on it for the sake of the video. I'm going to tape it. So we're going to go ahead and leave it off. Hey, it's all done. Let's see how it came out. Let's see if it cut all the way through. And no, it didn't. So I'll have to play with the settings. Did not cut all the way through, so we're not going to see any burn marks whatsoever on the honeycomb. Yeah, the lettering didn't come out at the stock settings. It didn't do so well. So. Anyway, let's move over to the Congro with uh, that 5 watt and we'll do another retest on it. Okay, I've got the bed in the Congo. Drop the laser head down and I use an SD card to kind of get the thickness here or the height. That's just a little bit too high so i got to adjust a little bit more. So, and we'll get started here in one second. And here we are. we got the enclosure. we got the exhaust running. We're piping everything outside through the Comgo enclosure. Since I have it, I got quite a bit of smoke in the room doing that other little test burn over here on the Focus because I didn't take the tent and jump it over, but this time I am. So it'll be just a little bit and we'll come back and uh, take a look at it, see how it came out with the settings that were already there. Like I say, I didn't go and change any settings, which you're supposed to do. When you get any file from anybody, you have to change it based on your weather conditions, your laser, the power, everything. And I'm just going with stock settings, see how it does, test out the uh, honeycomb bed. Okay, let's see what we got here. And it almost came all the way through. I just need to bump up my power just a little bit. But you can read it. And as you see over here on the focus, it burned a lot blacker on the same exact settings. Didn't come through at all. Same exact settings in the Congro. They're both 5 watt diodes. You can read the text. Almost went all the way through. And the grid done its job. So gonna have to uh, do her again yeah those will almost pop out I might be able to pop them out if I mess with it because you can see most lines those might come out I'll have to experiment with them okay I managed to get them all popped out and I took a razor blade and cleaned them up a little bit but basically here's how these work when you have a honeycomb bed and let's say you have a piece of wood and it's just a little bit warped or you have air assist on if you have air assist and you don't want it to blow your material around, you want to hold it in place. Simply take it, press it down on the honeycomb bed, and it will put one on each corner or wherever you want them at, and it will very easily hold them in place. It won't damage the honeycomb. And don't worry, if you ever break one, just reprint them. So, like so. And that's basically how it works. So, Anyway, they printed out real good, and I'm really, like I said, I'm really glad I got the honeycomb bed. 
It would have been cool if I could have reviewed one, got one for free, not been out $100, but it is what it is. So, anyway, here's some pictures, more pictures here at Ben. So, thank you, everybody. Hope you liked the video. Later.